Hey guys, we live and travel full time on our boat and today we are going to give you a full tour of our 1978 43 foot Defever trawler. We actually bought her for $100. She did not look like this when we bought her, but here's a little preview of what she did look like. What do you think? Neglected up here, unfortunately. What could go wrong if you spend $100 and get a 44 foot boat? <laughs> What's the quote? There's nothing even half as much fun as messing about in boats. Now let's go inside and show you what she looks like now. We're gonna go straight to the back. And this is the aft cabin, the captain's quarter, some may call it. We have a queen size bed, the biggest bed we've ever had on any boat so far. It is absolutely amazing, full walk around. Nobody has to climb over anybody to get out and go to the bathroom. And this boat has so much storage, more storage than you would ever believe. Every single place you look, place. <laughs> Everywhere you look, there's places to store things in the cabinets, under the bed, in the closet. In here is the bathroom, or in boat terms, the head. We have a full shower with a beautiful mural on the wall. In the boat, we have 50 gallons of holding tank space. About once a week, we come to the dock and pump out our waste. Water, we do have fresh water on this boat, about 240 gallons. Nice little space in here, and then we'll go up top a little bit. Now we'll come back up top and we will show you the galley, or in house terms, the kitchen. Nice double sink. We have a four burner stove and oven that runs off propane. Again, lots of storage in the galley here, everywhere you look. Pantry, plates, bowls, cups, silverware. Very nice space. You're nice and secure, especially if it's rough out. And then right behind you, we actually have our freezer and refrigerator. Go. Nice big space to store stuff. This is our salon, saloon, living room, whatever you wanna call her. Great space to hang out. We have a projector so we can put a big white sheet up here and watch movies. It's a awesome space and super comfortable. There is storage all under the settee and again, everywhere you look really. This space was dark and rotting and just kind of sad when we bought her, but now it's light and bright and just makes me happy. So super excited about this area. This is our lower helm. So in the Pacific Northwest, this is the perfect spot to helm when it's rainy and cold and foggy and you're nice and protected down here. Got both the throttle and the controls. We use our iPad with Navionics for navigation and it's right here, easy to see. Our autopilot, of course, our fourth crew member. Up here, we have been using our Vesper Cortex AIS a ton to see boat traffic when it is foggy and whatnot. And then we'll go down into the V-Berth for our guest room. So up here, we have two twin size beds. So we have guests coming next week. We're super excited to have them. It's a very cozy space down here. Plenty of room. It's actually longer than a real twin size bed. So nice and cozy. And then again, more storage. A nice hanging closet where we have all of our foul weather gear. We even have another bathroom. This one is a manual flush head, just in case something goes on with our vacuum flush that is in the back there. We just have two systems in case anything breaks, because on a boat that happens a lot. I want to switch it up and show them the engine room. All right, you guys, this is my portion of the boat. This is the engine room, my man cave. The biggest engine room we've ever had on a boat by far. Come on, check it out. So we're gonna do a whole video tour of this engine room and go over like a lot of the systems and the capacities, but basically here it is, our twin Ford Lehman diesel engines, all our tanks, our battery chargers, our battery banks, wiring, generator, fuel and filters, Everything like that is down here in the engine room. Basically everything that runs the whole boat. I spent a lot of time down here cleaning up things, taking care of the engines, tweaking things, making them better. This is my room down here. <laughs> 
So let me know in the comments below what specifically you guys would like to see in our engine room tour and I'll make sure we have that in there for you. These are our two big water tanks. They're 120 gallons each. That means we have 240 gallons of fresh water. Right behind the water tanks are our fuel tanks. We have 325 gallons each in our fuel tanks. That's 650 gallons of diesel fuel. I guess at this rate at about $5 a gallon to completely fill the fuel tanks would be over $3,000. <laughs> With all that fuel, we could take our boat, our whole house, about 1,200 nautical miles, probably further than that. Honestly, that's a pretty conservative estimate. We can move our house 1,200 miles for three grand. So this is our battery bank. We have 600 amp hours of Dakota lithium power. That is basically what everything on the boat runs off of when we are not plugged into the dock. Once in a while, we'll run the generator to top off our batteries or to run any high load AC things like the hot water heater if we have to. And then these are all our, our, char our big main charger and some DC to DC chargers. So when the engines are running, they also help charge the house battery bank. This is the engine start battery bank, hot water heater, fridge compressor, water pump. Like I said, we'll do a whole tour down here. So let me know what you guys want to see. So that's basically the whole interior of the boat. Let's go outside. I'll show you guys what we got going on out there. So this is our aft deck, ton of space back here so we set up a little board rack to hold all of our toys we got a nice magma grill so we cook out here pretty often and then we got some dock boxes and coolers for storage these rack holds all our fenders for when we're at the dock and then we have our awesome little dinghy down here that we use when we're on anchor to get to and from shore and to go explore and tow behind and fish and crab and all that fun stuff so here's a access hatch too our aft cabin below that you saw. We can take this off if we want some more ventilation down there or in an emergency if we have to get out from this area. All right, I'll show you up in the flybridge here. Our Starlink satellite, which has been an absolute game changer on the boat for us. And this is just an awesome spot to hang out. We've got these big long benches here with storage under both sides. So we find ourselves just kind of hanging out and eating dinner up here once in a while and just relaxing, great view from up here. And then we can drive the boat from right here. And we have all our controls, another helm, we call this the upper helm. Great visibility, especially for docking and stuff like that. And then of course, some more seats here. So we could have whoever wants to sit there with some more storage underneath. Some of our antennas, we got a nice bimini to keep us out of the elements, whether it's super sunny or rainy or whatever. And on this boat, this is like a fake steam stack, but basically just holds our propane tanks and a little bit of extra storage in there as well. Right here, we have our folding bikes, thanks to my mom who gave us for a wedding gift. And those have been awesome. They stow really easy so that they're not in the way on the boat. And when we get to land or dock somewhere, we can unfold them and zip around town and it's really nice to, to have them. So this whole area was like one of the worst areas on the boat when we first got it. Like it looked disgusting and all these hatch covers were completely rotted. So this is probably one of the biggest transformation areas on the whole boat. Okay, and now we'll bring you up to the bow of the boat, otherwise known as the front of the boat. Okay, up here we have our windlass and our anchor and our chain, which is what holds our boat when we are on anchor, which we prefer to be at. So that is pretty much our lifeline. And this is our shore power cable. So we're currently connected to the dock. And in here we have storage for our anchor bridle, which helps us not swing so much when we are at anchor. And then here we have a hatch down to the V berth, which helps whoever's staying up there get a nice breeze. And that's about it. We have our spotlight, our horn, and our spare anchor, but there she blows.
If you guys have been with us since the beginning of this project, thank you so much for staying with us. It was a lot of work, but we are so proud of everything we've done and we have been enjoying living, cruising, and traveling on her. She's a good old boat, man. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do so. If you think you've subscribed, double check because sometimes YouTube randomly unsubscribes people. If we missed anything, let us know and we'll try to show you next time and let us know what you think in the comments. Thanks for being here.